Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Franklin here and today, tonight, well I guess it's night over here. Tonight I'm going to show you guys how you can get any mystery gift event Pokemon using PK Hex. Now, before you guys get in the comments, be like, well, why don't you show us how to homebrew the Switch? Listen, I'm going to say this once and I'm going to keep saying it for any video related to that kind of stuff. I already got a warning from YouTube saying that if you do it again, you're going to get stricken down and you won't be able to do anything for a week. So, now looking at the climate of Nintendo Switch, because um, I posted that video and it got removed two years um, ago. I guess I'll try to figure out how to put that video on YouTube without, you know, crossing that boundary that YouTube and copyright stricken down, all that kind of stuff um, doesn't get blurred. So I will try to do my best to make that video more friendly, YouTube friendly. That way you guys can see how I do it and how I do my behind the scenes for giveaways and all that cool stuff. So give this video a lot of support and perhaps I'll show you guys how to um, do your little magic tricks on the Nintendo Switch um, so anyways say you want a mystery gift let's say for those PK Hex users you want to do a giveaway like I do you want to do mystery gift events that are pretty hard to come by nowadays well, it's pretty simple um, first things first assuming that you have your file I have mine's blank because um, I don't want to tamper with my save file that much what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to tools you're going to go to data and you're going to mystery gift. So you click on mystery gift and it gives you a list. This list has every single mystery gift in the history of Pokemon. And you heard that right. Literally every single event. Obviously, there are in game events that don't exist anymore. Um, so you just got to be wary of that. But pretty much, I would say probably has like 95. 99% of all the mystery gifts that have uh, happened in Pokemon history because I noticed a lot of these actually come from like it looks like this game version of this Mew is red as you can see on when I as I hover over its stats like red holy crap that's crazy right so now you're wondering well how do I get onto my save file well it's pretty damn simple um, first things first all I gotta do let's pick one out here let's say you want Hey, how about let's say you want a shiny uh, Genesect. Uh, so let's go all the way to the black and white events. Uh, I just passed by it. There you go. So there were two shiny Genesect events that happened. Um, so as you can hover over. So if you want to check out like the information, just hover over the Pokemon. You see the encounter type, which is an event gift. Um, the, car the wonder card number and the name of it. Obviously, it's I believe that's Japanese, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, it has the choice scarf item has the extreme speed techno blast wow techno blast blaze click bl wow i cannot speak today blaze kick and shift gear what locations from is from the 13th movie which i believe was mewtwo and the shiny genesect movie mega mewtwo i'm not really 100 percent sure it might be I, I don't recall the actual movie off the top of my head then the game version it came from pokemon white 2 and the level so you want it in your game all right, cool. So what are you going to do is right click and you're going to click view. You're going to move this to the side and you see now that the Genesect is in your legality um, check here. Obviously, this green check says that your Genesect is pretty good to go. Um, and you just put it in your box, export your file and call it a day. Simple as that, right? I One thing that I recommend not doing is um, changing its initial natures like because I'm pretty sure hasty Genesect in the event form is locked its nature lock so if you change it it's gonna give you this legality issue saying hey um, something's wrong and it messes up everything so obviously do not change um, the natures I don't recommend changing natures but of course you do have the stat nature in gen 8 so if you want to change it to uh, because of the mints if you want to change it to let's say timid or even jolly you can do that but the nature itself, I highly recommend do not changing because they're often um, nature locked. More s more so not than often, but um, yeah, don't do that. Met. Keep the met as is. If I break this here, take off the faithful counter, again, it gives me error. So don't change the met information. It's very important. Otherwise, it, it's straight up illegal. Stats. Now, as you can see here, I believe in white 2, um, the IVs and all that stuff. Um, later generations, 
I think I believe starting in generation six, it was a minimum of thirty of three thirty one IVs, which are three perfect stats. Um, I don't recommend changing any of these, but if you want to tweak with it, if you want to play with it, um, technically you can like remember the number and then put thirty one, and then auto check, make sure legal, legal, legal. Legal. So, yes, technically a mystery gift Pokemon can be six perfect stats. All the stats can be perfect. Um, obviously, it's nearly impossible. It's basically one over infinity chance, which is zero. <laughs> um, unless you got pretty much uh, RNG soft reset by the gods, blessed by the gods themselves. Um, but try not to. You can just, you know, just experiment. You can experiment all you want. I'm pretty sure if you leave it, let's say, for zero, 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 I'm pretty sure it's going to give you an error because the IVs do not match. So obviously, if you give it 31, because it needs a minimum two perfect IVs, um, like I said, in sixth, seventh, and eighth generation, I believe it's 31, unless those IVs are specifically locked, which I will show you guys with the Magirna in Pokemon Home. Once you're done tweaking, you can give it tax if you want. If you have TMs, TRs, I suggest just using those. Um, they're pretty. Ch I'm pretty sure with all the money you get in Pokemon Sword and Shield, they are pretty cheap, so you don't have to worry about money. You can just buy them and then teach them manually. OT, uh, miscellaneous. Uh, I believe this has to be highlighted because this. If this portion is highlighted, then pretty much it means you're not the original owner. So you want to keep the OT as is right here but see train information this is always going to be static so obviously if you highlight this you're not it basically pk hex is saying that this pokemon itself this is the actual handler that's not true you are the actual handler of the genesect this trainer information is basically static it's not going to change unless you tweak it which i highly recommend do not do that because then it's going to mess it up so if you get an error like this pretty much you just want to highlight hover over and highlight that latest handler you can change your OT if you want because obviously my name is Franklin in game highlight this and voila legal and again once you're done uh, you can just replace the Genesect and it should showcase the same stats here so once I do this the stats did not change nothing has changed at all so replace and then you can make multiple copies if you want or just right click um, set now let's say you want a Pokemon that has restricted IVs. Uh, the best case scenario would be, or the most recent one off the top of my head, is the Homagirna. So let's uh, view it. And then we have the Magirna right here. So as you guys remember, um, Pokemon Homagirna, pretty sure its speed has to be zero. Um, and I'm pretty sure you can randomize the IVs you want here, but I think it breaks it. Yeah, so if you break the IVs, um, you're just going to get a legality issue. So if you have that again, um, if you want to replace the errors, if you want to get rid of all the errors, just right click the Magirna, move this over, and voila, you got your legal Magirna. Like I said, for IV locked Pokemon like Home Magirna and other specific events, um, don't try to touch it. If you have bottle caps and gold bottle caps, which are, I guess the bottle caps are easy to come by in the game as well. Um, just if you want to fulfill the attack stat or, or the defense stat, you can do that. Um, you know, go for it. Obviously, you can tweak the EVs if you want to get a max special attack, max um, HP. Uh, make sure you fulfill the EV spread so obviously you hover over the total EVs and says there's six remaining put it on defense and then it's still legal because it basically saying you got this Pokemon but it's EV trained put it over here and it's legal last but not least we got event Pokemon that come from eggs yeah um, I don't remember off the top of my head the most recent ones uh, technically, uh, I believe some of these Gen 7, oh, this one here, for example, uh, these were actually event eggs.
from Generation 7, obviously not in the USA because I'm not too familiar with it. Um, so if they come from eggs, obviously you want to view Oranguru, and it's going to tell you, hey, um, usually the biggest error that I see with a lot of mystery gift events is in eggs forms is that, hey, uh, these are not in the current handler. So go to OT. Let's put the latest handler here. Highlight it. Um, English, if you want it. And voila, legal. Now, two differences. This Oranguru. Oh, wow. I have a legality issue. What is going on here? It's legal. I believe this has to come from an egg. So you see this check mark here as egg. And if you break it, obviously that's a problem. Um, faithful counter breaks it. Faithful counter, yeah. So now you want to hover over here. And still I broke it. So obviously I don't really recommend uh, um, Pokemon that hatch from eggs because it's just a complicated mess here. So you can see, hey, that doesn't really match up with anything. So let's replace this Oranguru. So obviously it says here, hey, I don't know what is your Pokemon. So let's do this. Tells me the HT language is missing. So obviously let's uh, let's assume it's in Japanese, right? Because I'm pretty sure that's where it came from. And boom, legal. Some stuff like that, simple fixes that sometimes the game might not see, but um, once you do that replace it and you're still gonna get an error um, but if you pass the legality check I think it's okay to say for now now obviously this hatched from an egg but what about Pokemon that are actual eggs so let's go through uh, there were some I just saw right now um, I believe in third generation those were actual like see this Absol that's uh, kind of like transparent so you can click on it view and obviously it starts with an error because of the handler stuff. So let's put our name on it. And then let's put our language. So obviously the current handler, it's not the, the original handler, legal, congrats. And still you're gonna get this error because this Pokemon is from way, way, way back from generations. And usually oftentimes a lot of um, Pokemon from this generation are from previous generations when they move up they will get an error but as long as this legality mod says it's okay and you still see this I think it's still okay for now um, if you think it's something's wrong um, feel free to type in the comments you know if there's any problems and then let's say another po another one is Pokemon with uh, I don't know shiny Pokemon I mean I already showed a shiny Pokemon uh, let's show this last one uh, shiny Zygarde event from Generation 7. I'll show the list here. View. Uh, it's perfect. Now obviously it's a square shiny because in Generation 8 we have regular shiny and then square shinies. Um, whenever you see a Pokemon like this, you can re-roll the PID because you see the square shiny, but I do not recommend doing that. Otherwise, if you do it, you're going to break your Pokemon. And if you give it a shiny um, PID, Legal. Nice. Met, like I said, don't touch it. Stats, uh, you can randomize it, but I don't recommend doing that as long as it has three perfect stats, which are 31. Um, and yeah, you can teach these Pokemon like other moves as well, but make sure if you do it, for example, let's say this Pokemon can learn, God, I don't know, Earthquake. So let's say you want to teach it Earthquake. As long as it can learn naturally, you'll be okay. Now, I don't know what other moves Zygarde, I don't remember off the top of my head what Zygarde can learn from here. Um, say you want to teach it Stone Edge. Now these moves, you saw in the TR that Stone Edge is there. You can always like click it if you want, that way you can be safe. But because this came from Generation 7, it's assuming you're editing it in Generation 7 and it just got passed on to Generation 8. And voila, it's still there. You're perfectly fine. So that's pretty much it. 
um appreciate all the guys support like i said i will try to work my best on a video that will showcase you guys how to hopefully install homebrew on your switch um as long as this video gets a lot of support i will okay the decision of hopefully posting it on youtube i still gotta work on it though so anyway guys if you have any questions feel free to comment down below it's your boy franklin signing out peace